back to critiques. Hopefully not to interrupt the by my cough. So let's check this out. <clears throat> I think my main impression was slow and limping. <laughs> I don't know if that's a helpful comment. Um, and to me, it's this limb here. There's something, I don't know if it's if it's part of the cycle or you have a slight change there. I think it's how, if you look at this paw, it just comes forward and goes bloop. And that's great. This one feels, which I, I, mean, I like the asymmetry, don't get me wrong, but there's a slight feeling of raising it more than this one, holding a bit and giving this a bit more of a almost human ball you know, heel uh, plantar. And because of that difference, because that left one feels like it's reaching more and then planting, and then the other one kind of doing much less of that, it feels like, almost feels like a shorter stride. It gives it that kind of a, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah, kind of a limp there. Now, if you could speed that up though, hold on. If I go into my playback speed increase button. Feels better. This is going to be way too fast, but why not? It's almost like I'm seeing a double bounce in the head. Da, da, da. There's a slight happiness there, so I'm going to decrease that. But I feel like you want to speed it up a bit, <clears throat> which also helps the tail. The tail is a bit wavy, a bit strong left and right. I probably will go half that distance. Let's go back to what you have. Or is there like a normal speed? Yeah, normal. There you go. See how slow that feels in comparison? I don't know. There's something that just feels a bit slow. So that was my first impression. Just kind of slow, very slow, wavy left and right tail. Probably reduce the amount there. Overall, it has it has a good feel. It just felt too slow. Um, and if you, you know, once you speed it up, it's going to change some of the mechanics a tad. But looking at this here, I feel like your scapula shoulder thing goes up too high too soon see how it's already going up but we don't have pressure on it just yet it feels like we're already at the highest point there no kind of you have a bit of a reach up here which is good because that's where all the pressure is on you can probably just extend that leg just a bit more but there's something off where we go up too soon now keep it low because it's reaching forward it's going to keep it lower that shoulder blade and then once it's here, not on that frame impact, that's, we don't have pressure just yet on this. But around here-ish, that's when it goes up and definitely around here, you wanna have a bit more of a straighter leg and a higher, just a bit higher shoulder, but kind of where you have it now, just a bit higher and here just lower, that's my whole point. So you're starting low into high. So we feel that change. Right now it feels too soon. You can see through here how the shoulder blade goes up which doesn't feel quite right. Don't forget as you do this to really curl your um, <clears throat> toes back and do this at the very end. They have very, very lazy, those cats have very lazy front legs, uh, paws and everything. Everything is really rotated back and right at the very end, through a very heavy, very heavy plop. That's why this stood out because it's very deliberate, long held, you know, upwards pose into a plant where it just feels more like a boom, boom, like a very, very fast plop on there. I do like your toe spreading there that you have. That's cool. Same thing on the back ones. You might almost think they're maybe too far back. No, I would have to look at reference, but it just has a slight feeling of being a bit too spread out. It feels nice in the front view. I think there's a good rhythm now in the head, left and right, body. It feels maybe a bit soft through here, the undulating movement there, but it's not crazy. And again, once I think once you speed it up, it's going to feel better. Uh, and I do feel like it needs to be just a tad faster. 
but it's definitely way better than what you have before. <clears throat> From a technical point of view, what stands out are these guys here. There's something where there there's some pops. You go back with your foot, it feels like it's the end through there. It could just be on the other one. That is my dog in the background walking in. Hold on, is he coming in? What is he doing? No, you can't see it. I'm not gonna turn on the webcam. Because he is not coming in, my dog. Anyway, this must be strange if anybody's listening to this critique. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, going back to the back legs. There are some moments where if there's a sudden acceleration to me right at the end where I would take sounds very picky, but like two frames out. There's something that feels suddenly fast where you go up and then phew, like it kind of speeds up into this. And then at the end here, you can see right through there. This would be a slide where if you look at the distance that this travels back, especially this one, it needs to be the same distance going back, but then this paw here is not moving. If that's a contact on the, on the floor, this would already go backwards just like these guys. So watch out, at this point your feet, the paws here, they're, they're sliding. See, this feels right. Now look at the other one and speed up and, oh, that one feels better. All right, so we're going back, that feels good. So it seems to be just the left one right there. You can see here, no movement. So there's a slide here, watch out for that. Look at the other one, since it's a cycle, this should be fine. Okay, you're good to go on the back one. Yeah, this one seems like it's really speeding up towards it, towards the end. It's more so the left one than the right one. Butt goes up pretty nicely here. But I would watch out. For instance, here, as we go back, right, this leg has all the weight on it. It seems like here's the buckling up where I would bring it more through here. It's the leg that pushes this up, part of the pelvis. You have a higher point here and not through here. You can see as this leg goes up, whoop, I see the buckling here. I see it, it goes up here. I would feel it a bit more here, reduce this, but bring it back more into this. This is going to react because of this, but I would bring it more into the pelvis area so we see a bit more up and down through here. It still overall has a nice move and it's it's nice and to me fleshy. <clears throat> There's nothing disjointed. It just has an, a slight wavy snaky feel to it where it might again be this section that kind of moves a bit too much compared to what it should be doing here. Picky, picky, picky stuff there, but <clears throat> and I think the double bounce comes into a, a strange moment in the head, right there, taking a step, and it feels like right through there I'm expecting it to plop down more for impact. And then it happens a bit late through there. Then you go down here and watch out through here. It feels a bit like it's just a translate versus a rotation down comes just a bit too late there's this one's funky on this step the head goes up instead of an impact unless that's your kind of a character moment thing that you want to push but since we're going for just a vanilla walk I would personally take that out and just give this like a, just an impact tremor on the head so it does have looking at this here it does have a bit of a feel of a double bounce just there but again, so much better. Picky things, picky things. Main thing for me would be watch out the sliding feet. I mean, this one, make sure this works. Um, same thing with asymmetry might be a bit too push, but the main thing, slidey foot there and um, shoulder blades acting a bit too soon. Detail stuff, a little bounciness, the roll in the toes, and <clears throat> the back part of the, uh, the butt not so much, uh, not so wide in the tail, stuff like that. All right, it's a huge improvement. Again, it's awesome. Um, keep going, and I think we might potentially help you visually. I'm not sure, you know, what do you turn off when you play Blast, but maybe you want something in there, maybe a grid or something, um, also maybe for the critique so I can see what's going on. But it, I mean, this is pretty clear 
and let me go back here that this is sliding at this point through there but so again i'm not sure how you animate if you do it just like this on empty ground and looking at the graph editor or if you do have visual pointers or grid or anything that helps you <clears throat> uh let me know you can always email me if you have any questions talk about this and other than that that's it from me thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you